All right, you guys, how's it going today? So, uh, <clears throat> excuse my voice, I'm getting a little bit of a sore throat, but I uh, figured I'd soldier on to show you guys this video. Um, some of you know I just hit 160,000 miles on this truck, and it's an 07, so uh, I'm starting to replace some of the uh, vital engine parts, um, often the ones that are overlooked. Um, so today, what I'm doing is I'm replacing the ignition coil and all four spark plug wires, since this is a four-cylinder. Um, all original, never been taken off or serviced. Um, and so I went on to Rock Auto because I love that site. And I believe this is from Spectrum, uh, Ford Ranger ignition coil. And uh, feels really high quality, all that good stuff. And then um, went ahead and bought the Bosch spark plug wire kit. It's a full set of spark plug wires. And uh, yeah, everything looks just like OEM. So, uh, surprisingly enough, uh, Motorcraft did not offer the spark plug wires, um, but they did offer the coil pack, but they wanted like 70 bucks for it, so, but uh, this and this, with two day shipping, it was uh, $49, so that's why I love Rock Auto. So, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and set you guys down, and then um, what I'm going to do first is replace the, uh, the ignition coil. And then um, show you how to keep track of your wires, everything else. And then once the new ignition coil is on there and uh, connected, then we're going to go ahead and replace the spark plug wires one by one, adding new dielectric grease and whatnot to it. So let's get started. Okay, so now what I went ahead and did is I just found an old envelope. And uh, I went ahead and plotted where the spark plug wires are going. Now, it's not so much important what cylinder they're going to. It's how you put them back up because you don't want the engine to misfire. Um, and so I have, I drew a little ignition coil here, really basic, and then the front pointing towards me. And then I traced which which way all the spark plug wires are going. So this one's going right to number one, and then this one's going to number four, you know, and then four and three. So, and why did my light just die? Hmm, the bulb just died. Okay. Well, that sucks. Hopefully, you guys can still see this. <laughs> so, um, just use the LED flashlight, I guess. So, all right. Can you guys see that? I hope so. Good. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and um, take all of the spark plug wires off. We're gonna take the ignition coil off. Or put the new one on. Secure it down, and then. Uh, go about replacing all of the spark plug wires. Alright, so now we're going to take all the wires off. And when you do this, you just want to grab right at the base of it and give it a little tiny twist. And then it should just pop right up. Just like that. Not that it really matters with our application because we're replacing all of this anyway. But if you were replacing it, then you would know. So, <clears throat> our ignition coil is now disconnected, and you can see that's our harness connector right there. And so we're going to want to get in there, disconnect that, and then it looks like we have some Torx bits, two there, <clears throat> and two on the rear that we have to disconnect. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and uh, try to get this guy off. Alright, <clears throat> so now when removing this clip, I actually just saw, if you see that little piece of metal, on the front of the clip right there, that's actually like a little spring keeper. And so you want to push that up and then pull the connector out, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and try that one really quick. There we go. Just like that. So yeah, you just pull that guy out. Just like that, and so now we're going to take these hex bolts or Torx bits out, and then we'll take the whole ignition, uh, ignition coil out. Alright, so I got all the uh, little bolts broken free. Uh, it's a Torx T25 bit, and so now I'm just in the process of just simply getting all of these out by hand. This is magnetized. Nope. So yeah, we're just going to go ahead and just... Uh, Keep removing all of these little bolts until the uh, entire ignition coil comes out. Alright, so she should be loose now. So if we just pull this up, and there she comes. 
So this is our old ignition uh, pack, coil pack. Um, <clears throat> and so I'm going to take these bolts out really quick, but then we're going to go ahead and compare the original Motorcraft Ford to this Spectrum and see how well it stacks up and whatnot to uh, just a visual inspection. Alright, so as you can see, the design is exactly the same. Um, pretty much. Oh, it's just backwards, that's why. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the diode placement, the little connector in there, just about the same. Um, and the nice thing is, too, with this one, it is numbered, so 1, 3, 2, and 4, um, so that lets you know. As far as underneath the ignition coil, they both have the same kind of insulation right there. Um, it's a very, very hard, maybe polyurethane coating down here. Uh, the same story for this, it's just a little bit dirtier because, you know, it was in my truck for so long. Um, that's what the, uh, it's just plastic, really. It's a nice little insulator right there on top of the engine. But, uh, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to screw this guy back in, plug it in, and then plug all of the spark plug wires back in, and then one at a time go in and replace all of the spark plug wires uh, onto this and then into the engine. All right, so the new uh, ignition coil is now in and hooked up. Um, so then if we, if we follow this little uh, graph that we made, um, we should be able to put all the spark plug wires back where they need to go. And so we're going to go ahead and start doing that right now. Um, I'm really hoping I can find a place in here for you guys to sit down and watch this. So hopefully you guys can see that. But um, Anyway, so the nice thing about these wires, at least, is that they're numbered. Um, so this is number one. As you can see, it's going right to cylinder one. So that is going to go... That needs to go over here and out of the fucking way. So cylinder number one needs to go right here. And... What is this one? This is two. And two is going... God damn it. Right here. Four is going right here. The only thing we have left is three, wherever it's laying in here. Sorry. <laughs> uh, God damn it, what the fuck? I'm going to get pissed off at this goddamn tripod. place them with the new guys. Alright you guys, so one thing I'm doing, um, even though the spark plug wires already kind of came with it, is I'm adding dielectric grease to the wires and both ends of them. So I've already got cylinder one right in right now, as you can see, and so we're going to go ahead and stick number two in really quick. And when you put it in, you should hear a noticeable little click that I don't know if you guys I don't know if the camera picked it up but same story goes with the one up here you can hear it click and so that ensures that you have a good seal and then what's next number three which is this guy right here And this is another reason why it's good to put dielectric dia grease in here because 
it makes pulling the boot out a little bit easier and so there we go that's not good so as you can see I have oil in here which means I most likely it's a valve cover uh, or yeah it's a valve cover gasket problem so I may be looking at doing that in the future which is uh, fun and exciting because uh, you know God knows that's what I wanted to do before my drive to Idaho so um, yeah which I there's no way I can physically do this before I leave for Idaho soon so Just like that, and then we're going to put it right back where it was. And then lastly, number four. I wonder if this one has oil on it too. Oh man, that's gonna be a reach to get back there. I'm gonna have to move you guys for that one. Um, hopefully you guys can see from over there. I doubt it, but hopefully. Um, no oil on this one that's good so looks like it's just two and three that have the uh, that have the problem with the oil so Sorry, right, I'm just trying to get this thing to seat properly because I don't hear the the click, so. There it goes. in that one's in and all of these are on and then this is plugged in all right so now we're gonna go ahead and start it up and see how she runs and she should run just fine but uh, we'll see so if we go inside here where's my keys are still in here uh, yep all right
Perfect. Purring like a kitten. No rough idle, no nothing. That's good. So, yeah, that's uh, in a nutshell how to uh, change out your coil pack and your uh, spark plug wires. Um, so, I don't know, maybe towards the end of the year you'll probably see a, a, a valve cover gasket replacement video on this. So, you've seen that oil in there, it's not making me happy. So, there's, uh, there's nothing I can do about it right now. So, because I'm already booked for the summer for a trip to Idaho again. So, which is why I'm doing all my preventative maintenance again. So, um, I'd much rather do it here than on the side of the road in the desert. Well, it's 113 degrees outside. So, um, yeah. So she's running good. I don't see any uh, any codes that are popping up. And she's uh. Burn like kittens. So, uh, yeah, comments, questions, leave them down below. Feeling generous? Hit that like button. And uh, as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.